You must have heard of the terms cross site, same site, cross origin, and same origin. Well, if you haven't, then you must, as these terms are key to understanding web security and how websites interact with each other. First, let's understand the term origin. An origin is made up of three parts the scheme, the host name, and the port. For example, in this URL, the scheme is HTTPS, the host name is www.example.com, and the port is 443. All together, they form the origin. Now here's the important part. If two URLs have the same scheme, host name, and port, they are considered same origin. Otherwise, they are cross origin. Now the same origin policy is important for web security because it limits how different websites can interact with each other. It ensures that only scripts from the same website can access its data, preventing malicious websites from stealing sensitive information. Now let's understand the term site. A site is slightly different from an origin. It's based on the scheme and the top level domain, or TLD, along with the part of the domain just before the TLD, known as TLD plus one. To understand TLD and TLD plus one, let's take the example of this URL. Here, the site is https example.com, where .com is the TLD and example.com is the TLD plus one. Sites help browsers figure out how different web pages and resources are related to each other. For example, if you visit example.com and images.example.com, the browser understands they belong to the same site and might allow them to share data more freely, enhancing functionality and security. Websites that share the same scheme and TLD plus one are considered same site. If they differ in either the scheme or the TLD plus one, they are cross site. So HTTPS www.example.com and HTTP www.example.com are cross site because the schemes are different. But HTTPS www.example.com and HTTPS sub.example.com are same site, even though the subdomains are different. Apart from that, there is also the concept of schemeless same site. This used to be the standard before schemes were included in the definition of same site. In schemeless same site, only the TLD plus one matters. So HTTP www.example.com and HTTPS www.example.com would be considered the same. But now with the inclusion of schemes, these are treated as cross site. These days, modern browsers use a special HTTP header called sec fetch site to determine if a request is same site, same origin, or cross site. This header helps enforce security policies and protect users from malicious activities. It basically has four possible values, cross site, same site, same origin, and none. Browsers set these values automatically so you can trust them for security decisions. So all in all, understanding these concepts is necessary for web developers and anyone interested in web security. They help us build secure applications. That's all for the video. If you found it insightful, drop a like and subscribe for more.